Um, hey everyone, my name's Lee. This is my um, first YouTube video for my YouTube account. I'm going to be discussing the recent phone hacking scandal that has engulfed News Corporation. Of course it was awful that Millie Dowler's phone and the relatives of dead soldiers' phones were hacked. And I hope that the select committee hearings, the police investigation and the judge led inquiry will get to the bottom of this and make sure it doesn't happen again. Now, my opinion about this phone hacking scan is that I actually can't believe it took the fact that members of the general public's phones were being hacked for it to cause outrage when journalists have been hacking phones of celebrities, the royals and famous politicians' phones for years. There was an inquiry into this in 2006, I think, but nothing came of it. However, it's always been an illegal practice, and I, you know, believe that if people on our country actually made a big deal of this ages ago, then I genuinely believe that the members of the public's phones wouldn't have been hacked because they wouldn't be able to get away with it. Now, I believe everyone has has the right to have private conversation, no matter how famous they are, or if they're in positions of power. Of course, politicians should be investigated if by journalists if they're thought to be corrupt, but no journalist has any right to listen to anyone's conversation, and the same, private conversation, sorry, and the same goes with celebrities. The reason politicians didn't make a big deal of this is of their phones being hacked, is because they were in the pocket of Murdoch Press and the police were being bribed by them. I'm glad these two things are being investigated as well and if any justice came out of this, Mr Cameron and Mr Blair would both be prosecuted as well as the people involved because they must have known about it given the inquiry in 2006 but they kept quiet because of their fear of being criticised by Murdoch. Also, a quick word for the Lib Dems. Now, Nick Clegg has also condemned the phone hacking and said that his party were never in the po pocket of Murdoch Press and that these investigations into relationships between politicians and journalists doesn't affect his party at all and that they, they're, they're completely outraged by it. They have nothing to do with it. But if he really hated the phone hacking... Why did his party push forward a proper investigation when allegations were made four years ago? So, he's no saint in all this. So yeah, that's all I have to say on this. Thank you for listening. I look forward to the sponsors, good or, good or bad. And I'll post another video soon, hopefully. Okay, bye for now.